Hey, what's up guys? This is Synapse. This is a part of my new video tutorial series. I want to give you guys all the tips and tricks you need to know to make these videos. In this tutorial, we're going to use the camera tracker in Adobe After Effects. You can find this feature in After Effects CS6 and CC. So I took some WoW footage that I think is going to be easy to track and I import it into Adobe After Effects. Um, the easiest scenes to track are just scenes where you're like walking forward or you're walking sideways. I right click on the layer and I select track camera. So I'm going to use the default settings here and I just click analyze and uh, it takes a couple of minutes. It analyzes the scene, the entire scene, solves the camera. And as I scroll through it, if I select 3D camera tracker up at the top and I scroll through it, you'll see all these little points, all these dots. If it looks like that for you and you've got a bunch of dots and they look like they're sticking, then you probably have a really good track. So this one turned out pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a region on the floor like this. Just drag my mouse around. Okay, so there's an object on the floor. It looks like it's in the right orientation. I'm going to right click on it and select create solid and camera. So now there's a solid object sitting right in the middle of the floor. And uh, if everything worked out, it should track and stick right to that spot on the floor. And it does. Here's an important step. We need to get this camera information into Cinema 4D so we can bring our 3D characters into this scene. Go to the file menu, go to export and select Maxon Cinema 4D Exporter. All right, this is built into Adobe After Effects CC. I'm going to select a folder to export this to, the Cinema 4D file into this folder. All right, now let's open the file in Cinema 4D. This is what it looks like in Cinema 4D. Uh, I've got the 3D camera and I've got that object. Uh, what's important is that we have the camera and we have that solid object. I'm going to take the army that I generated in the last tutorial. I'm going to stick them right on that solid. So I'm going to go back to my army that I created in the last tutorial and I'm just going to copy the whole group. I group the army and I'm going to copy them. I'm going to paste them into this new Cinema 4D file I just made. I want them to stand on right where that solid object is. So I'm going to drag them and make them a child object of that solid object. Click on the army and coordinates. Make all of those zero. They're really small, so we're going to have to scale them up. I can scale them up like this. Make them big. Now the rotation is still a little bit off. Okay, they're going to need to match the orientation of that solid. Uh, I just need to adjust the rotation a little bit. It's going to be 0, 90, 0. And now you can see they match the orientation of that green solid. I have a feeling this is going to track really well. Now let's add a background. So in the last tutorial I showed you how to add a background. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. I add a new material. And uh, the difference this time is that instead of just adding a single image, I'm going to add an image sequence. Here I'm searching for the image sequence. I'm going to start it right at the beginning of this image sequence. So here's the horde room image sequence that I'm looking for. Double click on the first one. There I click no. And if I click on the image right there, double click on it, select the animation tab. I can select calculate and it'll basically calculate this for me. I am going to have to change the frame rate to 60. So my original footage was taken at 60 frames per second. So I need to make sure that under the animation tab, I enter 60 and then I can click calculate. And there we go. If everything is right, your 3D character should track perfectly with the background footage. So I was getting the tracking right. They're still too small, right? So we're just going to increase them a little bit. 
We can increase the scale, uh, move them left to right a little bit. Now they track perfect with the scene. So in this tutorial, there were a few more details, but the outcome is epic. We did camera tracking and we tracked some 3D objects Guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do some more tutorials in After Effects and Cinema 4D. So I'll see you guys next time. Good luck and have fun.